The difference between batching jobs and running jobs in Microimages TNT MIPS GIS software. Go to your start menu, select from all programs, expand Microimages, and you'll need MIPS in order to use the job manager to batch jobs. You cannot queue jobs with an edit key. Um, for this example, we will do a batch import, but almost all of the tools in the TNT MIPS toolkit have the batch functionality. So you'll go to Select Files and um, use the Shift key to add all of your files. Eight objects were added to selected set. So we are batch importing TIFF files to RVCs. We say OK. It auto-identifies that it's a TIFF, and we say Next. Now, if we were to select Import, it would run the jobs one after another after another. So for eight files, if it's an average of two-minute file time, it would take 16 minutes to run the job. However, you have this button here called Queue Job, and what it allows us to do is navigate to an output folder, say auto name, so a unique file name is made based on the unique file name of every input file, and say OK, and we'll say OK again. And this will invoke our job manager window, and it shows us that there are four jobs running simultaneously. So it might take two and a half minutes to run each file, but it runs all four at the same time, so there's four that are done in two and a half minutes, as opposed to four being done in eight minutes. So as it finishes jobs, it will queue through the remaining jobs in the set, and while those are running, um, I will show you this other tabs. Um, we had an import job that ran before and it says the time, start and end, run time. Um, and it'll also tell you if jobs fail for any reason and it, it'll give you a dialog or a text log rather um, explaining why the job failed. Uh, another nice feature is that you can use the job scheduler to take files that you want to run and say schedule them to start running at the end of the day when you're done doing your processes for the day so that all the jobs that you have to run will just start up when you're done for the day and not um, impede your processing power during the day while you're working. Um, and these settings basically are for jobs that you want to run every day, repeatedly. So um, you can basically set up what jobs to run and then have the log files emailed to you so you know what happens while you're out of the office or away from your workstation. So um, as I said the runtime will be a little bit longer than it would be for a single file because when we looked at that last file that ran it took a minute 45 but um, if we expand the done jobs it took only 10 seconds longer 15 seconds longer um, and these jobs are finishing up almost simultaneously. And you can see that the other ones have started, and that has to do with the maximum running jobs. If you do decide to run jobs while you're processing other things and you don't want your computer to slow down, you can um, reduce the number of maximum running jobs at any given time. But of course that will only be pertinent to jobs that are not already running. So it continues to run the four jobs that I had queued up that started running before I changed the maximum running jobs. Um, and then if we just look at our output destination folder, we will see that um, already the majority of jobs have been populated um, with actual files, and this is the only one that, at 8 kilobytes that's still waiting to be run. And that's how you batch jobs.